Donald Trump recently said that if he wins the election of 2024, he is going to file a case against Google. But wait a second, why is he going to do that? And in this video, we'll try to understand that why he wants to sue Google. According to President Donald Trump, the company was unfairly displaying negative news articles about him, but not his 2024 election opponent, Kamala Harris. Donald Trump further said that Google is displaying bad stories about him. It has been determined that Google has illegally used a system of only revealing and displaying bad stories about Donald Trump. Some made up for this purpose while at the same time only revealing good stories about Kamala Harris. He then went on addressing judicial department by saying this is an illegal activity and hopefully the justice department will criminally prosecute them for this blatant interference of elections. Although Donald Trump didn't mention the name of the news articles or the bad stories which Google was publishing or displaying against him, but I think the only reason behind this is that he never wanted to show or highlight those negative stories or those negative articles during his election campaign. But maybe after his elections, he might come up and openly speak on those bad stories and the articles which Google was displaying against him. Google does not manipulate search results to benefit a particular party. Both campaign websites consistently appear at the top of search for relevant and common search queries. After all these statements, right-wing media research center came up by saying that yes, Google is helping Democrats and is publishing negativity against Donald Trump. Donald Trump also complained about Kamala Harris using sponsored features on Google. It is not the first time when Republicans and conservatives are accusing Google of supporting Democrats. They have done it before as well when an assassination attempt was made on Donald Trump. Republicans and conservatives came up with a theory of how they think Google is suppressing the news regarding the assassination of Donald Trump. The theory revolves around Google Search's autocomplete feature, which is designed to help users save time by predicting their search query based on the opening letter or words that are inputted. Some internet users noticed that writing about assassination attempts in Google's search bar did not automatically prompt search queries about shooting of Trump. According to internet users, instead of giving them information regarding assassination attempt made on Donald Trump, Google was giving them information regarding the assassination attempts made on other influential figures like President Ronald Reagan or Harry Truman. Although there was an anomaly with Google's autocomplete feature, but despite this, the final results of the search were not affected. Google still produces news articles, YouTube links, and a Wikipedia page, among other results, as would be expected. Texas Senator Ted Cruz came up by saying, This is insane. Google is engaged in active election interference. They are gaslighting the American people and trying to erase the attempted assassination of Trump. Kansas Senator Roger Marshall also accused Google for suppressing information and said he would be making an official inquiry with the tech company. Elon Musk, the billionaire owner of X and Tesla, amplified the narrative with a number of posts claiming that Google was suppressing information about Trump. Before moving further, if you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and do so. And if you have any kind of questions, any kind of concerns or any kind of feedbacks, do leave them in the comment section. I'll promise that I'll get back to that comment as soon as I can. If you want to DM me, here's my Instagram. Feel free to DM me on Instagram and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Although Google did not respond to any of these allegations, but one of the spokesperson said, of course, autocomplete is just a tool to help people save time and they can still search for anything they want to. Some internet users also noticed that autocomplete's limitations are not confined to content about Trump. Matthew Iglesias, who's a liberal commentator, sarcastically shared on his ex by writing, I feel like right-wing accounts are always doing numbers on various autocomplete conspiracy theories. How come Google has search banned Kamala Harris presidential campaign? Only time will tell if Trump will sue Google or not. Thank you so much for watching the video. See you in the next video.